very common question, usually it's when a pizza's not even in his office, my kid has belly pain. How would you know, asking questions, the difference between belly pain that may be benign, that could possibly, not always, be an emergency, maybe surgery? What advice would you give some to this is not something benign, it could be surgery. Yes, yeah, so so many kids get belly aches and they usually get better and the mom has them go to the bathroom and give them a little prune juice and the great fear here is that it's something serious like appendicitis and the mom sends them to the bathroom and they get, take a little prune juice and two, three days pass and then the appendix is perforated and everybody's regretful and it takes a long course of antibiotics and can have more serious consequences. So we've got a very good question here. When should the mother, the pediatrician be alerted that this is more serious, needs a surgery? Abdominal pain associated with fever. That's the first thing. Now, if there's a lot of vomiting, a lot of diarrhea, a lot of cramping, if there's no particular localization of the pain, that does sound like one of these flu bugs that get better. You call it gastroenteritis. But what about vomiting by itself and no diarrhea? Uh, if, if it's just vomiting without pain... With may, pain. Now, vomiting with pain would worry me, and if the pain came first, it would particularly worry me. And if the pain localizes to a specific area in the abdomen, it would really worry me. And if the pain was in the right lower part of the belly, it sounds like appendicitis. So if you had a mid-abdominal pain, and the mother notices it's now moved down here to the right lower side, and there's a little fever, a little vomiting, that sounds like appendicitis. So, yeah, so that, unexplained yeah. fever. What about the belly is, is extended? That's always an emergency, right? I think abdominal distension should snap somebody to attention, yeah. Some kids have a full belly chronically, and it would be worth bringing to your pediatrician's office. If it happens acutely with pain, I'd be very concerned. So in other words, if you're not sure, and the kid's in discomfort, you shouldn't sit on it anyway. That's what we're evaluating. The worst people who sit in an emergency room, doctor sees the kid and gives you, ah, don't worry too much. But we always want to be careful with little kids. Is that true? Yes, sir.